All right, looks like we're finally getting notice of getting some products sent to us. First official unboxing. All right. It's amazing, it was untaped already. What is that? Some sort of tubing? I don't know what that is. And uh, what? What is it? An umbrella? Ryan! An umbrella? An umbrella. Four? An awning? An awning for the bus. <laughs> oh, no. You've been saying you want an awning, but it's so... I get it now, I get it. This is gonna be high enough. So it looks like today you get to follow along as we try to figure out how to get this onto that, which is gonna take some thinking. Should be a piece of cake. Oh yeah, a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm in. You're, you're in? <laughs> it's gonna be, so obviously this thing is designed to be used on a patio or, you know, a deck or something and no, it's not. They're, a, they're designed for Volkswagens. Oh, well, it will be. <laughs> So the, 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 the trick to this thing is, is we don't need this entire pole here. Doesn't need to fold the way it folds. Doesn't really need to fold up, it just needs to be able to kind of collapse so you can put it away when yeah. you're not using it. The only thing is we, we want to get it centered over the door and to be able to mount onto the roof rack, but keep it as low as possible. Yeah, I don't want it to be an extra foot higher and the way it's right now, it's gonna, we'd have to move this up a foot and that means that would be even higher and the wind's gonna catch it. I'd rather be able to tie off that to the right. roof rack. So what we're thinking so far is to move the stopper up out of the way so we can get, get this part up in there. And we're kind of winging it. So let's just- uh, <laughs> The norm. <laughs> let's just get going and see what happens. Let's drill that thing out. All right. Now we gotta figure out where it's gonna end up again. So we're gonna have to open this thing back up. Uh -oh. Not a problem. <laughs> Crank it up. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Jeez. All right, here's my issue with this thing. I wanna keep the, the umbrella about the height of this, maybe a little bit higher like it was, but it, being the pole was so long where the bottom of that was, if I raise it up and put it on, you know, put a socket in here, it's gonna raise it up like another foot, maybe even more. And I just don't want it to be that high catching wind and all that. And I want to be able to tie the, the umbrella off to the, to the rack up in the corners here. So the plan here will be since we loosen that collar up, just moving it up, say three inches here is going to drop that down because it's much longer that way than it is this way. So we got to figure out where exactly that ends up and we'll get it up. So let's go ahead and open it back up as it is. Yeah, see, that's, uh, that's a huge difference right there. See how much it drops it. We can put it anywhere as we want. We'll probably end up taking the plastic stuff off of here anyways and making it metal. We can weld on this and make it look ugly and it'll just fit perfect, so. That's a big tent. <laughs> All right, yeah, look at that. So, all right, we get the tape measure out now. See where that puts us. That's still a little lower than I'd want it, but that means, say, 62 inches to the top. And that would be 70 inches to the top there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches higher than that. I think that would be okay. We can always go even a little bit more. We just let that slide up a little bit more. Yeah, like right about there, I dropped it down quite a bit more. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off here, make a socket, and see what we got. We lock this back in. We'll probably end up taking this plastic off anyways to make it metal, but for today, that's gonna work. Alrighty, that's the angle a little bit. We hold this down like that. 
that puts it quite a bit lower than that. But we're talking about probably like six inches lower. That socket will be five inches. So I think right now what we'll do is we'll cut it six inches lower than, than where this is. It's easier to cut again than not cut again. So I'll we'll go a little bit more, probably right about here. Let's cut it off there, make a socket, weld it to the bus, install. All right, to cut this off, we can show you a couple tricks on getting a nice straight cut around your tubing. Um, you can take a piece of pattern paper or they call it chipboard and you can just wrap it around your tubing and what you do, line it up with each other when you get around to it. That way there, you'll have a perfectly straight cut all the way around it and won't be off on an angle or something. By the way, you can tell we're in the barn today. Here, it's a little noisy. Just made out of room in the shop. What did I say the other day? Seven cars in the shop. So that's one way right there. You can just take that and then uh, take your marker, mark all the way around before you cut. But since this is black, I'm gonna take some tape and run around it. And I can just use my cardboard as a pattern. Same thing. There, perfectly straight line. All I gotta do is cut along the tape. And we're gonna do that with the cutoff wheel. <laughs> Don't forget your safety glasses. to doing a good cut like that when you're especially with things moving have someone hold the other end like that but also when you get your blade in there try to keep it as straight as possible because you tilt it a little bit it locks up okay this is a deburring tool what you use this for is cleaning out cleaning off your edge if you're cut you can get these things on amazon they work excellent you do have to be careful though. If that were to break off and you were pulling it at you, I've heard horror stories about getting cut like that. So I always keep my hand out of the way, but it does work on the outside. Not so much the outside of two, but if you have plates or whatever, it's a really cool fabrication tool to have. So, but uh, got that cleaned up. All right, now we're gonna measure the outside of this because we're gonna make a, a socket that we're gonna weld up on the roof up there. So let's see what we got. Zero down our calipers. One eight ninety one. So it's a little bit bigger than seven eighths. One and seven eighths here. So we got to go find something we can use to make a socket out of steel and weld up there. I'm sure, we'll find something or we'll make something. Let's do that. All right, found a piece of tube for our socket. And we're going to cut it five inches. Put it in our fifty-year-old horizontal bandsaw. It cuts nice and straight. Lock that in. Got a cut. Turn the breaker on. Ain't gonna work without the breaker. All right, chuck the piece up in the lathe here. What we're just gonna do is just face off the ends just because we have a lathe and we can do that. Make it nice and straight cut on the edge there. Don't have to do that, but that bandsaw cuts pretty straight anyway. So, but you know, we're gonna do things perfect. The inside of the tubing is like 1875. We were at like 193. 
Obviously, we want a little bit of slop in there too. We don't, we don't have to press this thing in. I don't want to be able to just drop it in. So we're gonna use a boring bar and open it up. So I put the boring bar in the lathe. What I usually do is just run it all the way back to the back because I don't have a stop on the on the the feed part here. So this way I don't crash in the back. I can see it sticking out of the back here. What I'll do is I'll just mark this part in here. And that way I can just come right to that mark every time. And I know I won't crash into the chuck. You don't want to crash into the chuck. That's bad. Okay. Put the auto feed on. Fire it up. All right, we got our mount all fabbed up. Just a little bit of lathe work. Wasn't too bad. Fits perfect. Like a glove. Heck yeah. So and if, if you've made it this far in the video, you probably just should go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell button. Follow along. We got more of this stuff coming up. More VW stuff. More fabrication. Good times. Lots of good times. Now let's get this thing mounted. Got to remove that air pump up there oh, next. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to fly it. How are we going to get up there? Spiral staircase. <laughs> All right, I stuck the extra piece of tubing in our sleeve here, just so we can use that as a guide to get it, you know, pretty straight up when the bus is sitting all the way down. Obviously, I can tilt it with the hydros, but. So uh, what we're gonna do now is just weld right in here, and I'm gonna come around and weld on the bottom of that. Then we get the test fit. Let's get to welding. All right, we got our mount mounted up there. Ryan's gonna go up top and we're gonna set this thing in. Cool beans. It should. It's gonna fit like a By glove. my calculations on the <laughs> chalkboard, should fit pretty good. All those crayon drawings we had. Yeah. It's gotta be right. There you go. Just hold this here. Yeah. Now you gotta be able to do this by yeah. yourself. Yeah, I can do it. What do you so, think? Not a problem. It ain't that heavy. All right. That's pretty okay. cool. All right. No, wait. It's locked in. I'm gonna grab the little camera. Okay. Because I know you're not going to be able to be seen up there with this thing opening <laughs> up. Open her up. There we go. Here we go. Now that's, that is. There it is. Got an awning. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Dude, it's like perfect. Nice height. We'll just tie these off here, make some little lanyards. We'll get some, uh, yeah, just hooks get a, to put on you, right? Get some paracord and a couple lanyards or a couple uh, carabiners. Yeah, the carabiners. That would be perfect. Hook them right, right on to the then we roof gotta, rack, and you're done. We gotta rust this thing all up. Maybe throw some <laughs> throw some tears in that uh, umbrella so we get it <laughs> look a little bit more the part. We need to make it look like it's a hundred years old. All right, love, love it. it. Let's uh, awesome. Let's get. Uh, some testing and out the out of the water. Yeah, let's take it to the beach. Oh. 